For almost 34 years, the Westside Pavilion on Pico Boulevard in West Los Angeles was the go-to shopping mall for generations of Angelinos, myself included. I recall years of back-to-school shopping trips and many of the stores located here. In the 1980s and 90s, the Westside Pavilion was so popular, it was used as a movie and music video location. Tom Petty's hit, Free Fallen, was filmed here in 1989. Tom Petty's lyrics may have been a glimpse into the future because by the 2000s, many malls across the country were in a free fall and permanently closing, including the Westside Pavilion, which closed in 2019. That's the dead mall movement. We all shop online now, so going to a mall is not quite what it once was in the 1980s or 90s. Adrian Scott Thine is the president and CEO of the Los Angeles Conservancy, and he met me on the rooftop of the former Westside Pavilion. So when a mall closes, a very popular mall that everybody in town went to closes, how does that impact the area? When you have a massive building like this sitting empty, underutilized, uh, uncertain in terms of its future, it also places uncertainty in terms of the neighborhood, the community, uh, and a real question about its viability going forward. I look out and I see the memories of, of growing up here, and I, there were stores like Contempo Casuals and Judy's and the May Company, and it was a beautiful Barnes & Noble here. It'll be interesting to see what this becomes, and it's great that it's still here. Before the pandemic, Google was planning a 14-year lease of the 700,000 square foot building for office space, but COVID changed how people worked. Google canceled the deal, and a new plan for the property was put into place. UCLA announced in January 2024 that it acquired the former Westside Pavilion and is developing what they say will reshape the future of science, innovation, and exploration. It's named the UCLA Research Park. Dr. Roger Wakamoto, UCLA's Vice Chancellor for Research, gave us an exclusive access to tour the building, which is now under construction. Now what you, what you see here, which is tremendous, is when Google vacated, they left a lot of the construction material behind that we're actually going to use. So this is, saves us not only a lot of time, but expense. When you walk in, your jaw kind of drops oh, yeah. because you, you think of it as a mall. Yeah. And actually, mall is the worst <laughs> term to use because once you walk in, you're just, it's spectacular. Yes. And, and if you're building or wanting to buy an office building, you would say, this is it. Who are the anchor tenants that will be? Yeah, we have two anchor tenants, and they were looking for a place before we knew this was going to be our research park. One is our quantum innovation hub, and I think even people out in the public have heard the word quantum and they know it's a hot topic. The other is, uh, we use the abbreviation CII. It is the uh, California Institute for Immunology and Immunotherapy. And just very quickly, what they're trying to do is conquer diseases like cancer, autoimmune, neurological, cardiovascular diseases. So there will be a lot of breakthrough research done here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We, we actually think this is going to be a magnet. How will the UCLA students benefit from this as well? Oh, the, the UCLA students, I, I, if I was a student, this would be really exciting. Again, to come here, not only work with the best faculty and researchers in the world, but have partners in industry, maybe future employers, and we're going to be doing cutting edge research so it's, it's, it's really going to be exciting. Dr. Wakamoto says the first anchor tenant will move in in about a year and a half with the others to follow. As I took the time to walk the former Westside Pavilion, I was reminded of memories of the past. I love this. Here's what was once the movie theater concession stand where I bought popcorn and drink before I saw a film. Remnants of the landmark theater signage is still up. Oh my God. Uh, the theater themselves are dark and empty. UCLA says that in the future, they'll be turned into cultural and performance spaces as part of the UCLA Research Park. But what does it feel like to stand here, see this view and know that this was a very popular mall? I, I think it's about connection. 
Um, in terms of anybody that understood what the West Side Pavilion was originally, um, they can still feel that here and, and sense that. Obviously, it's not a mall anymore, and it doesn't need to be, but it's also understanding that you know we've reused this and it's taking on a very new, vital purpose going forward with UCLA.